Let's just open the one last report, the journal report. I'm going to right click and duplicate this. I know I'm going long here, so I'm going to do this fast. And I'm going to go to the reports on the left hand side <clears throat> and close up the boogie. Close up the boogie. And my I have to wrap this up because my voice is threatening to leave me. I'll give you some coffee voice. And I'm going to go into the, the journal report this time. And this is, let's make this from 020123 to 02283. And so now we've got a similar report, but this gives you all the details, gives you the, the transactions that we did. And then it gives you like the detailed accounts that were impacted from those transactions instead of just giving you a split line. This is also a useful report possibly for billing in that you can see, you can kind of take into consideration how many accounts were impacted in your billing structure. And you might do this by exporting it to Excel to use Excel to count all the lines, right? You don't want to physically count all the lines, but you can export them to Excel and use some count if functions, like count if there's something in there uh, to, to count the lines. So let's just scroll through this. It's quite a long uh, report, of course. And so there's that. Now, next time we'll get into, now that we have our reports in our custom area here, we'll get into actually grouping them together to provide them to the client.